In case it wasn't obvious, we on this channel like video games just a little bit. What's up, rascals? I got an email yesterday and I just thought I'd uh, share it with you because it's uh, video game related, obviously, and uh, it's something you guys might be interested yourself in, maybe. I don't exactly gush about specs and hardware and all that stuff when it comes to consoles, but I do have an appreciation for it. Having grown up being more hands-on with tech and uh, building things like, like computers and, and tinkering and modifying, certain things grab my attention in a special way. That sounds wrong. That sounds inappropriate. Anyway, a while back, Retrofighters started a Kickstarter campaign to build a more modern version of the Dreamcast controller. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, big deal. Ah, uh, but it is a big deal because it's cool. That's not the only qualifier, but I, I, it's, it's what I consider cool that, that these guys have such a passion for video games that they like to do what they can to bring things more up to date. So here's some images of the new Striker DC gamepad from Retro Fighters. It's got a similar shape and layout to the uh, Brawler 64 controller that I got a while back. And, but uh, it's obviously for the Dreamcast instead. And they put a lot of care and time into this, so you can tell. Look at this thing. Looking pretty spiffy if you ask me. Do they have the cable coming out of the back side just like the old one? It looks that way. Not quite. Where is it coming from? Well, I'll at least find out when I get mine. Uh, or I could watch one of the uh, review videos that they uh, posted in the email. Now, I'm not going to go through them in this video, but I'll leave links in the description below in case you want to see one or all three of the videos reviewing this new product of beautiful retro gaming goodness. If you think I'm overhyping this, I might be, but I, I, I am genuinely excited about this. Despite the fact that I literally only have one Dreamcast game in my entire library of games. I might have to fix that. I might have to cheat to fix that. I don't want to, but I might. Just because just Dreamcast games are so difficult for me to find these days, especially affordably. Especially with what's going on right now. I mean, yeah, things are slowly returning back to normal, but it's still really slow. But, and, and enough of that. I don't think I'll do an actual review of the product itself, but I will do an unboxing if there's any interest. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me doing an unboxing when I finally get mine. And actually, while we're here, if you know of any Dreamcast games that you think I should put on my radar, uh, let me know down there too, because I would definitely like to check out some Dreamcast games, especially since my experience with the Dreamcast is very, very, very limited. And I'd like to change that. Well, Rascals, that's it for this video. Thank you for bearing with me and uh, listening to me ramble on about stuff I hardly know anything about. <laughs> I hope you're excited for the rest of the videos I have lined up for you for this week, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Hopefully, it'll amaze.